Hi, I'd like to introduce the DG Shape DWX 42W wet mill designed for dental laboratories and practice labs alike. Now this mill benefits from our experience of over 30 years of producing desktop milling systems and as we speak today in March 2020 we have over 11,000 dental mills worldwide. The wet mill gives us the ability to grind hard materials such as the glass based ceramics, hybrid ceramics, composite resins, PMMA and now titanium custom abutments. The DWX42W, like all DWX series, is open technology, so you can use any CAM software. For this example, I'm going to use Millbox. It's got a nice user interface, very easy to navigate around, and we're just going to work from the top and slowly work down our list here. So I can choose whether I want to use the fast strategy or high quality. I'm going to go for high quality. Now I select my material. I'm going to go for Vitronamic. And then the position. The 42W has the ability to mill restorations in all three positions. So let's select the middle one and then go to the next stage. There's some built-in STL files um, in Millbox. So I'm just going to use one of these. There we go, full molar crown. Now I need to select what the object is. Well, it's full contour. Click on OK. There are two block sizes built in for Vitronamic, and the one I'm going to use is the 14 millimeter, the EM14. And there we have it. So it has place the restoration inside the block. It's also put a support pin in place. Now, if I look at this, can you see there's a little orange area here and another one here? And that's basically saying, look, the, the restoration is almost the same size as the block. There's not much wiggle room with this. Um, so let's rotate it a little bit. Let's just have a look, see what we can do with this. So click on it once, that gives us the options to turn the handles around. Let's, uh, let's see whether I can just pull this in a little bit into the block. Can you see if I go too far, let's just bring this down a little bit, the support pin starts to flash orange. So again, it's a warning. It's basically saying, look, you know, it, it's, it's really tight in this block. Um, you've got to give the machine enough room to get the grinding tools in and around. No warning lines there. That looks fine. Okay. So let's calculate that job. The software will always designate the same tools in the same bays. And now it will finish calculating the toolpaths. And now all the toolpath generation is complete, it has saved a file in a CNC subfolder. In the vPanel now, we are going to select the file and output it to the mill. The spindle now is removing the dummy pin. And it'll check on the centre of the back just to make sure it has been released. You'll see the water jets are spraying directly onto the cutting surface. 